Let me show you how we can use Cloud Code to perform actions or execute commands on our file system. For instance, we could ask it something like, what is the current size of my downloads folder? And it will tell us there's 500 items and that the total size is about 15 gigabytes. And we can get some information about this as well as potentially delete items, clean things up, things like that. So what is it that we're doing to actually achieve this? Well, we're using something called a model context protocol or MCP as I'll call it for the rest of the video. You can think of an MCP like a USB-C port where we have our phone, which is our client, and then we can plug things in that are like tools that can access our phone or do certain tasks like charge it or potentially add like headphones so that we can listen to music. And what we're going to do is we're going to both install the client as well as the tools that we want to use with this protocol. So since this video is about Claude, we're going to use Claude Desktop. To install it, you need to go to claude.ai forward slash download and then download the certain installer for your operating system. For me, I would download the Windows installer since I'm on a Windows machine. And don't worry, all of the links can be found in the description of this video, as well as all of the code that we're going to use throughout the video. Once you go through the installer and the whole setup process, as well as logging in, you will get to this screen where you can chat to the AI bot. Now this acts just like the web version where you can just chat about anything. But what's unique about this is that we can install these tools for it to use on our system. But before we install any tools, we need to first install the Node.js platform so that we can run all of these tools that we're about to install. So you'll need to head over to nodejs.org and click on the download button to take you to this page where you can then download the installer for your particular operating system. Once you install and go through that whole setup process, you'll then be able to run node commands inside of the terminal. To open up the terminal, we hit the Windows key and type in CMD. And then from here, we can type node dash dash version to get the version of the node executable on our system. It's also important that you do have write access to the program files node.js folder because there may be some issues later with permissions in order to run the tools that we want to run. So in order to edit those permissions, you need to go to your installation folder, which for the default is in C program files and then node.js. Then right click on Node.js and go to Properties. Then in the Properties panel, go to Security. And under Security, you need to make sure that you have full control or that you at least have the Modify and Write permissions for this folder. We can edit the permissions by clicking on Edit and then making the edits that we need. Then when you hit OK, it might prompt you with, do you want to make these changes for all folders and subfolders within this folder? And you'll want to say yes, and then you can hit OK again. So now we need to install our actual MCP. And there are two of them that I'm going to be using. The first one is Claude Desktop Commander MCP. This allows us to execute any command that we want on our system. Again, this link is in the description, but we are actually on a website called glamma.li, and this website contains all of the MCP servers that people have created. So like I said, I'm using Claude Desktop Commander MCP, and if we scroll down, we can actually find the code that we need to copy. So down here, there's this little tidbit called MCP servers. And what we wanna do is we wanna copy everything inside of here. Now, in order for us to get this working on Claude, we need to go to the Claude desktop app and then go up here to the upper left, click on this button, go to file, and then go to settings. And then we'll want to go to the developer tab. And inside here, it's telling us that we need to edit the configuration with the tool that we want to create. So if we click edit config, it pops open our file explorer and is highlighting a certain file. This is the cloud desktop config, and this is where we need to paste in the thing that we just copied. So we need to open up this JSON file in an editor. We can right click it or double click it if it's already associated with an editor and just edit it in Notepad. Now when Notepad comes up, you'll notice we already have an entry called MCP servers. And since we copied that, we can just highlight this whole thing and then hit paste. Now you need to make sure that you keep it in the same format and that all the tools that we're going to add are going to be under this MCP servers key. So you can see we added the desktop commander to the MCP servers object. And inside of here, we have a command and that command is MPX, which we installed with Node. And along with that command, we have some arguments. We have the dash y argument just to make sure that if there is some sort of interaction, it, it will automatically choose yes as an option. And then we have the package that we're running. This particular package is distributed by this wonder why er, and then the name of the package is desktop commander. Now we can change this name to anything that we want. We don't have to keep it as desktop commander. This will just be the show name inside of Claude. So since we added this, we can hit control S to save, and then we can exit out of this file. Now, if we go back to Claude, we can see that nothing shows up and that's because we need to restart Claude altogether. To restart Claude, we can go to our taskbar, click the up arrow, right click on the Claude symbol, and then hit quit. Now that we've quit out of Claude, we need to open it back up. So I will hit the Windows key and type Claude. 
and then hit enter to open up the Claude chat app. And now you'll notice in the bottom, we have this hammer tool and it's saying 20 MCP tools available. If we click on it, we can actually get a list of all of the MCP tools that were added with that desktop commander application. So we have this block command, create directory, edit block, execute command, force terminate, all of these different commands that we could use inside of our file system. So now we can just start using it like an LLM, but with access to our file system. So let me just ask a simple question. What's the size of my documents folder? Now it's gonna start working. And the first thing that it asks is, can I run this tool? And so I will always say, allow for this chat, but a reminder that these could be malicious MCPs. So you always need to be careful on what you're installing on your system. So I'll go here and click allow for this chat. Now it's generating more information, running more commands, and I'm just gonna continue to allow for each one of these chats. So it looked like it finished and it told me the documents folder is one gigabyte, but it's also telling me that it's only including the files directly in the documents folder and it's not including any of the files in subfolders. So I'm gonna just ask it to include files in subfolders. So there you go, it looks like it found the total size of the documents folder and it showed it as 26.44 gigabytes. So that's cool that it was able to do that, but it did it all through executing commands on my system. So that ended up taking quite a bit of time because it ran all of these PowerShell scripts and stuff like that. Instead, let's see a way where an actual tool is specifically built for things on the file system. There's another MCP called file system MCP server, and this is the one that we're going to install. Again, I'm on the glama.ai website and I'll scroll down till I find that same configuration step. So here I can see the MP PX configuration step, I'm gonna copy the file system portion and hit control C. Now I'll open up the config file inside of settings and developer and hit edit config down here. Now I'll right click and edit in notepad. And from here, I'll hit comma and enter on the last curly brace and then paste the new stuff in. Now I can save, close, and I have to restart Claude again. So I'll go in the bottom right, hit the carrot icon, right click on Claude and hit quit. Now I'll open Claude back up and now I get a bug. Open MCP settings to see the problem. You can see here that I just copied this in, but I didn't actually change any of the parameters inside of the request, but maybe that wasn't the error. In order to see errors, we can open the logs folder and inside the logs folder, we have a bunch of logs for all of the MCPs that we have installed. If I open up the log for the MCP server file system, which is the one that I just installed, and then check to see what the problem is, I can scroll down and I can see that it is saying E no int, and then the path is C users username desktop, which does not exist. I need to change the username to my username and also put the path as something else. So let me open up the config again by editing it in notepad. And then inside of here, we have these arguments. And what we wanna do is we wanna change username to my username, which is Hunter. And instead of desktop, I want it to be the downloads folder. Also, I'm not using this second path, so I'm going to delete it as well as the comma. And then I can hit control S to save and close out of this. And again, I have to restart Claude. Once we restart Claude, we can open it up and we shouldn't have any errors. You can also notice that our tools number has increased to 31 from 20, which just means we added 11 more tools for the LLM to use. So what I want the LLM to do is I want it to tell me the size of and then delete the auto hotkey setup file in my downloads folder. It's just some installation file and I don't need it anymore. So I want it deleted. As you can see, the file does exist and it is 3.3 megabytes. Now, every new chat that we do, we always have to allow the tools to run. So again, I'm going to allow for this chat and I'll just continue allowing until we get a completion of this task. Okay, great. So it looks like it found two setup files for auto hotkey and one of them was 3.13 megabytes. The other was 3.27 megabytes and it successfully deleted both of them. So as you can see, if I search for auto hotkey in my downloads, folder, it comes up empty. It actually did successfully delete those two files. Now, of course, this is just a little taste of what you can do inside of the file system for your LLM. There's plenty more that you could do. You could have it create new files. You can have it do pretty much anything on your file system that you would normally be able to do but your LLM can just figure it out on its own. And with that, that is how you can use Claude on your computer to run commands or delete files or create new files, all with the power of AI.